so what has been going on around here guys i know i took some time off and as you can see we got boards broken boards falling off it's starting to look like uh we abandoned our little farm guys but that's not the case it's just that we need time away we need time with the family and we took a pretty good vacation down in mexico for a couple weeks now that we're back we got some work to do as you can see i gotta put the boards back up and you haven't even seen how bad it is where the animals are at right now uh especially right now in the winter time when it rains it puddles up and since uh, it's a little bit cold it doesn't dry up as quick as it did in the summer and we moved all the animals to the back that way uh my parents were the ones that helped me out feed them while i was gone well we didn't want them to have a hard time going around feeding some over here on this side feeding some over here on that side feeding some over there on that side so we put them all together in the same pin and it worked out because it was convenient it was easy to feed them but it, it was also harsh on the land so let's start here this is pretty simple to explain guys so as time goes by i think this fence was put up about two years ago as you can see we use screws the thing about screws is they're a lot easier to put up especially because we didn't have a nail gun we didn't want to bring an extension cord all the way out here use a compressor so when i use screws for all these boards they held up good for the first two years but now um they're starting to get a little rusty and the screw whenever you torque it with the drill it eventually starts getting a little bit more soft so with time that happens the board now fell off i'll put it back up this time when i put it up i'll use a hammer and a nail um nails do a little do better they hold up a lot more it's just again if you don't have a nail gun then imagine being out here putting up all those boards uh by hammer it would take some time it would take some elbow grease but now if it's just one or two that i have to replace i don't mind putting them up with nails but other than that board and that one and the other two you saw the rest of them were actually holding up pretty good again this is the fence that we put up about two two years ago and of course the one that we put up just uh, last year that one's holding up great the reason that that board fell is because that's where we got the uh, hay bale when we move it in and out of that area we take off those boards and i put them back up with just one screw and honestly again the screw when you bring them out put them in bring out put them in they eventually start getting soft and that's why that one fell off on us but we'll replace it here in a bit this board on the other hand well let me explain what happened there what's up rocky what are you doing over there man it's been a while right buddy you hanging in there lola there she is oh there's our little goat there's a little cutie cutie pie where's your mama at there she is and then we still have the one in the back that we really didn't name for the same reason as you, as you can see everybody's up here up against the fence except her she still don't want to come around oh and there's bailey there's bailey we decided to go with bailey because i feel bailey is a boy and girl name so we're gonna stick with bailey for now and we're just gonna simply say he bailey is actually holding up pretty good he's been doing pretty well the three weeks that we were gone or three and a half something like that we kept them in here with the chickens the whole time simply because while we we're gone my parents were like we don't want to be liable if a chicken gets taken by a hawk or, or it gets lost or something so they simply kept them cooped up for the whole time the chicken lived with i mean the turkey lived with all the chickens and nothing happened i know there is a disease called blackhead disease that chickens have but they actually can live with it and they're fine but if a turkey gets it then they don't make it and that's why some people tend to keep their turkeys separate from their chickens but we gave it a try and like i said bailey did perfectly fine so i think it's one of those turkeys that actually is immune to it so we're gonna keep letting them live together with the rest of the chickens because um that coop right now as you can see before i left i actually put black tarp all around it that way we could protect the chickens a little bit more from the wind they could be a little bit more cozy while we we're gone and of course our turkey enjoyed it as well so what happened with that board oh it was actually my fault i was actually gonna jump over there to grab something and what's going on is that these boards right here they're the same kind of the boards 
that I picked up from the sawmill as those over there. However, uh, we put up that fence first and we let these boards right here actually lay on the ground for a while until we finally, I think a few months went by and then we finally made a decision that it was time to put up this side of the fence. Um, when we did so, they started getting a little bit more rotten because of being on the ground, the weather, the, the water, everything like that. So they're a little bit less resistant they're less strong as those boards but i do need to start spraying these boards down because as you can see as simply as me just putting my foot on it and it broke and i've done the same thing to those all right so don't think that it's because i'm heavy i've done the same thing to those boards i stepped on them i jumped over that fence and nothing happens it's just these are a lot more softer because the um weather got to them so that's a little bit of advice if you guys buy from a sawmill if you don't put them up right away, you better put them somewhere where um, they will be protected from the weather or else they're going to rot and when you do go to use them, they're going to be a lot softer, a lot easier to break, alright? So luckily today it's dried up a little bit more, but as you can see, it is becoming a mess around here. We got to burn that pile. We got trash over here and while I was gone, my dad moved some of his roosters around. Moved him over there back there. He's working on a door right now. But yeah, we just got to clean this place up, man. It's looking a little bit too dirty. We got to clean up this little backyard farm. We'll start with the coop over here. The wife already did a really great job on cleaning that up. It was honestly really, really bad back there. It's, it's probably like, I don't know, two, three inches thick of just waste back there. So she's already cleaned that up pretty good. Now I just gotta scoop all this out and we're looking into making some compost piles back over there. I'm gonna put up uh, some pallets right there in that corner and then that's where we're gonna be putting all the waste. Cause just like this side, we gotta be cleaning up their little pen. This was where the cows and the bull were staying while we were gone. So we gotta clean that up a little bit more. They've already finished their round bell of hay. So we gotta switch that out for a new one. And as you can see, we really weren't fully prepared for the animals through the winter. Honestly, I didn't know how long I was going to keep them. Uh, you know, for now, we're just doing like a hobby farm. We're just trying out what animals are good to stay on the farm, what we can handle, what we can work with. So I wasn't sure what I was going to stay through the, weekend, uh, through the winter time. And it just so happened that uh, we decided to keep the cows, the bull, the pony, the goats. So we set up that round bill of hay right there and they finished it all up. So we didn't really set up much of a barrier. All we did was put that wire around it. And of course, they stepped all over the wire and now they got right through it. Over here, if you remember, is where we used to have the roosters. But the pony were staying right here. Um, and this little corral was pretty much the pony and the roosters. But then while we were gone, the cows actually got on top of that round bill of hay, jumped that little bitty fence that we had put up, which of course, like I said, it was small and it wasn't really uh, stretched out to be really strong and sturdy. So they jumped it over and they stayed on this side as well sometimes. And they really, really stepped on the dirt to where we were having puddles over here. While I was gone, uh, my dad was telling me that all oh, this right here, all oh, this was one big old puddle of water. So really most of the roosters, they were kind of being in the water as well all over this side. So. We decided it'd be best to move the roosters into an area that's a little bit higher and we're actually gonna put a little fence around it to where the animals don't get in there like the cows and the pony and then stomp everything around whenever we come and feed them we're walking around and just mud just mud everywhere and we're hoping that the rooster will still stay nice and dry as well let's stop the talking and get to working
And that's a wrap, guys. I think we did pretty good for today. We even got that piece of, uh, I think it's like felt stuck up down that tree. I'm telling you, man, you leave a few days, and especially right now in the winter time, all that wind, it'll pick up any little trash, and it will just send it all over the place. So we got some things picked up. We also got that door put up. I'm going to show you real quick how we did that one. Pretty simple setup, guys. So that, to me, like I've always said, it's about getting out there having some fun. Uh, it is not perfect, but it's very functional. So all we did was put this little chain right there. Take that chain off. We put a hinge right there. Put another hinge right here in the bottom. And then we even put this little piece of board on top because since we didn't put no concrete on that post, it did move around too much. But since we secured this post up against the actual cage, then that post is sturdy and it makes that one sturdy with that board. This one was pretty simple as well. All we had to do was to put a hinge right here. Another hinge at the bottom. That 4x4, four four, we actually put concrete on this one. And I still have to get an actual little locking pin for this side. Of course, I'm not going to leave it with just the rope. But temporarily, that does work out. And the way we set it up was that it will open up towards me. Which is actually good because it's a very, very heavy door. See? There we go. Got the hinges just barely grabbing that 2x4. But since we're really going to keep it closed the majority of the time they're not really going to weigh it down and make it all loose set it up back over here and tie our knot so this little fence we pretty much just set it up because we want to connect this side of the corral with that side of the corral and the cows to go through here freely but i also want to have a little alley so that way later on in the future um my son gets a little bit bigger we can ride four wheelers we'll ride We'll ride right through this little alley. We'll go around, go down the fence line, and get back there to the pond. So it's always about playing ahead and going out there and just testing things out. I hopefully don't ever have to take that fence down. But I have had to put some things up. And then the next year, I have a different mentality. Just want to go a different route, take it all down, and start it all over. But for now, it looks really good. It's all nicely set up. And it didn't take that much time to do it either. So that'll wrap things up for today, guys. Again, we just got back from vacation. I still have a lot of work to do, guys. I still have a lot of content that I'll be providing for you guys because I know we haven't been uploading for like, I guess it's been almost two months, really. So I apologize about that. But still, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I hope you're enjoying this video. For everybody that have gave me so much support, so much love on the comments, I really, really, truly appreciate it, guys. But CG5 Farm is barely getting started. So be ready for a lot more content. For now, we're wrapping these, up, these things up. I'm calling it a day. It's still early, but I got a lot of more things I got to work on. So I want to be outside even though the, the weather is barely about to get good. But till next time, guys, you already know. Just get out there, have some fun, enjoy your days, and we'll see you next time.